Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is about drop shadows. Somebody emailed me a while ago. They want it, to, you know, here the shadow is like the light is shining in front of the letters, and they want to be able to act like it's shining from behind the letters. So that's really easy to do, because most of the time you're going to start your drop shadow from this lower part, no matter where you start, and you just a little bit about it, you can change the intensity of the shadow, you can change the color of the shadow by adding or subtracting. You can actually make it a, a yellow, which I wouldn't really suggest unless you're a printer. So let's go back to a gray. All you have to do is just go down here and then you can angle it which way you think the, where the light was coming from and it looks like a shadow. And as always, you can go up to object and break the shadow apart so you can move this around. And even at that time, you can uh, change the color of it, you know, real, make it really faint. You know, you could make it darker, even if you've done away with the drop shadow. Drop shadow is pretty cool. Uh, laser engravers don't really get to use it too much, but I'm sure printers can have a heyday with it if you make this red and make this red and then we can always uh, you know add a little yellow to it by holding down the and make it a little bit less of a drop shadow different colors but you can always you can make it you know since you've got it selected you can make it any color you want i hope that answered their question and thank you for watching